everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I do clean and conscious beauty videos about once a week on this channel unless there's like a life <laughs> emergency going on, which has happened kind of frequently lately. Um, but today, if you can tell from this title of the video, we are doing a full face of flawless beauty, which I'm really excited about because I am a glam girl at heart, but I love clean beauty. And there are not many brands out there except Lawless who are talking about clean can be glam and you know that kind of a vibe when it comes to clean beauty most clean beauty brands are doing this minimalist look very no makeup makeup and i think they're alienating a ton of people who are like me and love makeup and will consume and buy a lot of it but they don't want that minimalist look so you're really doing yourself a disservice and you're kicking yourself in the face but you know that's you know my opinion so um i love annie lawless's look she's a glam girl but she likes clean and non-toxic things so there is very little that i have tried from this brand that i don't like and you'll see i say that at the end um to give you an idea of what we're going to be using today i have the foundation i have the loose powder i have bronzer i have blushes i have the eyeshadow i have mascara and i have lip all the lips lip liner lipsticks lip glosses so really it's a pretty full face with the exception of brows and concealer that's really the only thing i subbed in so oh and highlighter i did a little highlighter from another brand because i think lawless is highlighters i don't know for sure i saw them getting like really deeply discounted and i had a feeling that maybe maybe they're getting discontinued i'm not sure um, so I didn't buy that because I didn't want to buy it and then have it get discontinued. You guys can get it. So I'm using a different highlighter. But otherwise, everything you see on my face with the exception of the brows and the concealer, which you can't really tell, is Lawless. So if you like this look, then let's get into it. So we're going to start with the Lawless Conceal the Deal Longwear Full Coverage Foundation in shade Tawny. This is, I got this in the summer, so I'm not sure if it's going to match. But I really don't need another foundation, so... We're gonna make this work. It might be a little twinge orange, just a twinge, but we're gonna make it work. I did enjoy this foundation in the summertime. It definitely has medium to full coverage with a lightweight finish. Uh, I would say more of like a semi-matte. Um, this foundation was also like one of the first to come out in the recent year or so to say it has this like self-setting technology which to my in my opinion is just basically saying it's a semi-matte finish you know so you can see it's covering up my acne pretty well the color is not the best right now but it's gonna be okay a foundation that i've tried recently that this actually rem the lawless reminds me a lot of is the nars light reflecting foundation and they actually kind of have like a similar vibe like they're in the square like rectangle kind of bottles i don't know this is definitely I like that this packaging also is, I know it's not very eco-friendly, but the fact that it's a plastic tube that you can close shut makes it so travel friendly. And it's so annoying when I have to worry about like what my makeup's gonna look like when I travel and if I get to the location and it's like a mess, that always makes me crazy. So the Lawless one is great to travel with. Okay, so there we go. That's everything blended out. I think it looks pretty good. Um, concealer, Lawless does not have a concealer right now. I think they're coming out with one. So I'm gonna just go in with my Tried and True Rose Ink Concealer in shade LX50. My favorite concealer brush is the Sephora 57 brush. I use this like every day of my life. I like to let the concealer kind of sit and settle for a few minutes. So in the meantime, I will go in and do brows. And lately I've been using this com combination, which it's nothing like, oh my gosh, you need to go try. But I do the Goof Proof Brow Pencil in 2.5 and, and Gimme Brow from Benefit in shade three. So we'll just fast forward through this part because it's nothing really rocket science all right so brows are done now we're gonna do powder so i picked up the lawless seal the deal loose setting powder because this is one of the things i didn't have before i wanted to film this video guys i'm loving this stuff loving it and it's funny because the reviews aren't like as incredible as they should be i think so 
Clean Beauty Loose Powders, I have not had the best luck with. The Ilia one, I don't like at all. A lot of people love it, I don't know why. For reference, before I got into Clean Beauty, I was obsessed with the LOL, um, Laura Mercier Loose Mineral Powder. My second favorite was the Hourglass favorite, which the Hourglass one isn't bad either, the Hourglass powder, but the Ilia one people rave about. I hate it. I think it looks really patchy and picks up on dry skin on my face that I don't normally have. Powder. Beauty Counter has one. Um, it's, it's pretty good, but I don't think it gives me the same effect that Laura Mercier did. So this, in my opinion, I think Annie Lawless um, really nailed like the color and texture of the, of the Laura Mercier powder, but in a clean formula. So that means it's talc free. It also has like not as many other yucky chemicals that the Laura Mercier one does. And it gives me the exact same effect and you can bake with this and everything. Like it even looks so much like the Laura Mercier powder. So I've used this just, I've used this both under my eyes and on my whole face, which is what we're gonna do today. This is another huge hit from Lawless, in my opinion. Grab some on the powder, tap off the excess, and then pick up all, I want all the powder in the brush. Really worked in well, and then I'll just pat everywhere. Okay, so I think we're gonna do complexion first and then we'll finish off with the eyes. So next up would be bronzer, I feel like. And uh, the Lawless bronzer is well loved. I use this all summer. Um, it's more of a warm neutral bronze. It's not super orange and I don't even like any super orange bronzer so I don't have any to really show you. Um, but this is a perfect neutral bronze and it's the lighter shade of the two. This is in golden hour. I really, really like this. And when you set your whole face with a powder before you go in with like powder blushes and bronzers, it really ends up letting the product blend onto the skin easier. I was finding like when I don't set my whole face and then I go in with like my powder blushes and bronzers, they were like wearing off patchy throughout the day. See, it's just like a nice, pretty bronze. For those of you who follow along with me on Instagram and know about my infertility journey, I just finished um, my third egg retrieval this past Monday. I'm filming on Sunday. So I am still like very puffy and I don't feel very, I feel very much out of my skin. So if you feel like, wow, she looks puffy today. I'm sure most of you don't think that, but I feel like I see myself and I'm like, oh, I feel puffy. So. Anyway, um, okay, that's that, love it. Then for blush, and I also actually have her blush brush that I love, <laughs> I have two shades. I have Phoenix and Angel Suede. Phoenix is definitely more of my summer blush and Angel Suede is more that I use year round. So here's Phoenix, it's like a deep peach, like a deep bright peach. And then Angel Suede is more of like your everyday matte peach. Together they're great, and that's kind of what I bought them as. This was a set. I bought the brush and the two blushes together because how Annie applies it is kind of like Charlotte Tilbury. She like puts one shade every like all over the blush area, and then she uses the brighter color for like a pop. So these are incredible um, clean clean powder blushes. They are so good. Like look at how pretty that looks on the skin, and it just applies with no fuss. No fuss. And if you guys have watched my videos, I always repeat this, but I do go a little heavy on the blush and bronzer. I let it sit and then I blend the whole thing out um, at the end of the look because I like to kind of let the color bake onto the face a little bit and then I'll dust off the excess. Okay, going in with Phoenix, the brighter one. Ooh, that is bright. Brighter than I remembered. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna blend that out just a smidge. I'm gonna take the bronzer again and uh, Soften that a bit before I even let it sit. <laughs> we'll let that sit for a bit. It, I know it looks a little intense, but you'll see it'll all come together. For today, I feel like we need a good highlighter and I'm gonna pull from one that I haven't used on here in a bit and it's the RMS Beauty Loose Powder um, Highlighter. It's really gorgeous. It's very messy though. It's very intense. You wouldn't expect this from RMS Beauty. I feel like when you think of RMS Beauty, you think a little more Subtle. But 
It's nice, right? Now we'll move into the eyes. I'm going to use the Lawless the Glam One palette. This came out during holiday. I feel like she's keeping this around. Like I'm grabbing a primer right now. Yeah, the Milk Makeup Primer. I feel like she's keeping this around. Originally I thought it was limited edition, but I think, I think it's staying. I don't always use primer on my eyeshadow looks anymore because usually I'm not going in with as much powder. But since this is more of a glam look and we really went went in with that loose powder everywhere and mattified, I need the tackiness of a primer to kind of pick up on the uh, shadow. So just a little bit from that Milk Makeup Primer. And then we'll get going for this eye look. Morphe M504 Fluffy Brush is so good. I think I'm going to do this like silvery taupey kind of look here. Um, so that means I'm going to go in with this color first and kind of go everywhere with it. I'm meeting my friends for brunch. I have to leave in 15 minutes, so we better be totally done with this look by then. Well, I really enjoy these palettes because obviously they're clean, um, but they're pretty affordable for an eight pan eyeshadow palette. They're They've been priced at $25, so I think that that's pretty fair. For perspective, there is a palette at Target from the brand PYT, which is also clean. Um, and it's more colors. I think it's an 8-pan. But it's expensive. It's like 20 bucks there. And I'm like, this is Target, people. Like, if I'm going to buy a $20 plus dollar palette, it's going to be... Like, I don't know. If I'm going to buy... A 20 plus dollar palette it's not going to be from Target you know and then I'm gonna go in it interestingly has this like soft uh, soft peachy color here I'm gonna mix that with the brown underneath to give me sort of like a light neutral brown and pop that in the outer corner you hear my kid any of you guys with kids it's like God forbid my husband watch her for 30 minutes on the weekend. Like, what is going on? We're back. So we're going in with the shimmery shade. I'm gonna grab it with my finger. I always like to use my finger when we're doing a lid shade. And this is like a taupe. Do you guys, those of you who have been makeup lovers for years, this shade looks exactly like Urban Decay Maui Wowie. At least to me. Maui Wowie was maybe a little more shimmery, but I loved that color. I actually feel like I bought it in a single recent, like, was it recently? Maybe. Um, because I love this color for like a one and done. I can actually wear this alone without putting any other colors on and it just, it's shimmery enough to brighten up my eyes, but also has a little bit of depth to give me a little bit of smokiness. I love that. And then we're gonna go back in with a little bit of a smaller fluffy brush. This is the Morphe 433. Like, I'm drawn to the dark brown again, but I think I'm going to take this reddish brown. And just kind of smooth the outer corner a little bit, because I don't like where you can see, like, the harsh edge of the shimmery shadow to the matte. Just drag that down a little bit down here. And then, Annie Lawless is, like, a big believer of using her eyeshadows for eyeliners and she always it seems like a lot of her palettes at least the ones that i have either have a black or a very dark brown or in this case both to do liner so i'm going to take the black and a very tiny brush this is the morphe m213 and we're going to line and then whatever's left again same thing i'm mimicking what's on the top on the bottom The nice. Oh! <laughs> I was just about to say the nice thing about powder is if you make a mistake, you can just smudge it away. So, don't ever think you're not good at makeup because you make mistakes. So, okay. Back to finishing this look. The Lawless Mascara. I also was, had to order this new because I didn't have the powder or the mascara. There we go. See, so she's got the tip of the wand, kind of like that Givenchy mascara that has the ball. 
to kind of like help define your lashes in certain sticky areas. And then it's a plastic bristle, bristle brush, but the bristles are very spaced out. And what that's gonna do is help you get a lot of product on your lashes to get a bold, dramatic, thick, volumized look. But for some, it might just be way too much and very clumpy. And if you have thinner lashes, it just might be a lot. Um, it works fine on my lashes. I have thicker lashes. They are longer. Um, but you'll see it can be a little much when you are applying in terms of getting a little clumpy or spidery, but it's called one and done because it's meant to be a one coat mascara only. You're not meant to layer this one up because when you do, you're going to regret it. Okay. So see the difference with the one, with the one and done and then without. Now we can go back in and finish up the brow with the number three that I told you about. I like to kind of wait until my whole face is done before I fluff the brows up with some gel. All right, now that that is all done, I do go back, and I go back to the face and I take the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder as my finishing powder. This is where you'll see the cheek color kind of soften. all better, beautifully soft and blended, and we'll finish off with the lip. So I don't think it's any secret. I love my Lawless lip colors, and I got um, a new lipstick from her, so I'm gonna use that one today. We're gonna use Pink Sand Lip Pencil. I need to sharpen this. Pink Sand is extremely similar to Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Different texture, a little more creamy, not as long wearing, but for clean, it's an excellent dupe. And then I like to kind of cheat my cupid's bow. I don't define my cupid's bow. It gives the appearance of a fuller lip. Um, not for everybody, but if you have like a not super dramatic cupid's bow like I do, you can kind of cheat it. All right, lipstick is Annie. This is a very nude peach. And then the Forget the Filler Gloss, I also absolutely love this. It's very thick. If you like to MAC lip gloss but want a clean alternative, this is it. I feel like it looks so pretty. This is like the glam girl's clean beauty look. I love Lawless. Like I am a glam girl at heart. I love to wear a full face of makeup and there are not many clean beauty brands out there except for Lawless who do makeup like this for the girl who likes to wear makeup. I feel like so many of the clean brands are like no makeup makeup. And guys, I try that. I order Jones Road. I order Ilia. I order merit like so much of these brands that are clean beauty but like minimalist looks and they're just they don't do it for me like i like a glam look and there's nothing wrong with that and you if you also like a glam look but you want cleaner beauty there's something for you here like there's so much from this brand that i love so far it's hard for me to give you guys just like a must try i feel like they're very i'm very confident in all of it so i think if you're looking for a laura mercier powder alternative the powder is incredible. Um, I love all the lip products. If you're a nude lip lover, I love the, the blushes because they're powder, clean, long wearing. The bronzer is great. I mean, <laughs> can I rave more? I don't know. But anyway, I hope this was helpful and thanks so much for watching.